Hi guys, let's see how to create a splatter paint effect in Affinity Photo on the iPad in fun, easy steps. Now the splattered paint simulation in simple steps is very straightforward using Affinity Photo, an unlimited choice of images from the stock studio and pure simplicity. To begin, create a new image base. I use 6 inches by 8 inches. Transparent background and portrait mode. Fairly straightforward, although you can use any size you like really. So this is our 6 by 8 inch transparent workspace. The same size as a standard photograph as it would be. As usual, go to the stock studio and select the image you want. I'm selecting a nice dog. Duplicate the original image and turn the original layer off. Rasterize both though, all the same, just in case you need it again. It doesn't really work unless it's rasterized. Turns it into a pixel image. Next, select the duplicated layer. Grab the selection brush tool from the selection tools panel. In the context toolbar, set the mode to add. Make sure the snap to edges box is checked. It's a circle in the middle. Then take the brush and make a selection of the dog. You can see the crawling ants around it there. Now you'll notice if you're backtracking with this that I've got both the images up there. They're still image. I haven't yet rasterized them. I forgot, but I'll go and do that momentarily. There we go. After you've made the selection, refine the edges. Set the output to new layer. Right, now when you go to refine, you can see the red background comes up and it goes nicely around the edge of the dog. So use that drop down and select the output to new layer. Then hit apply. And in brackets there I've got, if you want to make edits to the selection, select the mask layer of the selection in the layers panel. Grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Go to the brushes panel and select the brush from the basic brushes. Go backwards and forwards. You can set the colour to black if you want to remove anything from the selection we made or set the colour to white if you want to add something back to the image. In which case, you would have to set new layer with mask. Okay? So, that's very confusing. So probably for this stage, ignore that and just select the output to new layer, then hit apply. And there you are. Select the duplicated layer, the second layer that is, because what it does is make a new layer. Click the plus sign icon in the layers panel to add a new pixel layer above the duplicated layer. Now select the new layer. In the swatches panel set the fill colour to white. Then go to the filter menu and select fill. To fill the pixel layer with white, select apply in the context menu. And duplicate that layer. So you will end up with two layers that are white, the duplicated layer. And above that, you've got the image of the dog. Now, in the layers panel, select the duplicated white filled pixel layer and the layer with the selection of the dog. Merge the two layers together. Go to the edit menu and click merge, merge selected. That will do it. Or you can use the little sandwich stack in the layers panel there and select merge selected. Either one works. So you end up with the dog with a white background and a white layer below it. So select the original white filled layer. Then click the plus sign and add a new pixel layer above this layer. This is after you have merged the other two, remember. So you'll have the two image layers on the bottom, a white layer, a new pixel layer, and the dog combined with the other white layer. Turn the merged layer off in the layers panel and select the new layer we just added. That's the new blank pixel layer. Now go to the splatter brushes link and download the brushes. Import the new brush pack into your brushes. Now, you've probably got these, but I'll try and remember to put them on my website so you can grab them. They're free brushes and there's lots and lots of splatter brushes around. These are very good. 
They're Photoshop brushes and they work really well. Make sure the new layer we added is selected. Now grab the paintbrush tool and go to the brushes panel and select the paint splatter brush you downloaded. Select the splatter brush you want to use. I chose the number 31 brush. Go to the colour panel, click the fill colour to bring up the colour chooser. Set the colour to a bright colour of your choosing. The hex code I used is 5C62FC. Take the brush and tap once on the document to add a paint splatter. You don't need to worry about adjusting the size or anything just yet. Just use it as it is. And there's a paint splatter straight on your new clean screen. Now click the plus to add four new pixel layers. You can see them there. One, two, three, four. Blank pixel layers. Select the first pixel layer we just added. Go to the color panel. Change the color to a color of your choosing or use the one I used. F59257. Take the brush and click on the document once to add the paint. If you want, you can use a different splatter brush for each of the other layers. Here I'm using the number 40 brush. After that, select the duplicated layer above the color, current layer. Go to the color panel, change the color. Same process. Then take the brush and click on the document to add the splatter. Getting quite busy there, isn't it? And lastly, do the same thing again using a different size brush and a different colour. Well, here's the last one. The last duplicated layer. Change the colour in the colour panel. Set it to that colour there, FB, FA, 7F. Then take the brush and add the paint to the layer. I'm using number 32. You can see that looks quite busy there. There's one, two, three, four, five paint splatter layers, which you can change, move around, add and subtract it as you like. You've grouped all those layers and duplicated them. Turn the layer with the dog back on. Select only the dog layer. Now select the adjustment panel and select threshold. Set the threshold to 52%. So you've got an adjustment there, turns the dog black and white, and that's the threshold. In the layers panel, select the adjustment layer and the layer with the dog, and merge the two together. You can go to edit, select merge, then merge selected, or use the sandwich stack at the top of the layers panel, have those two layers selected and merge selected. Now, select one of the spatter groups. Drag the group inside the layer with the dog. I still have the other two splatter layers turned off, so you can't see them there, can you? Okay, but inside the dog, the dog is now a paint splatter colour. Very pretty. Next, select the other two splatter groups and turn them on. You can see they're quite simply turned on there. Select the first splatter, first splatter layer of the two remaining. Change the blend mode to multiply. After that, select the other splatter group below that and change its blend mode to screen. It just softens the colours up a little bit. If you like, you can now add a wide variety of colour splatter effects to your image. Dimly hiding layers and creating new pixel layers. A nice uncomplicated image. I've simply added a new layer there, put it underneath the dog, and put one group of blue splatters on it. Now you've got two white pixel layers there, both hidden at the moment. If you want to turn those on, so you've got a white background, just turn one on and you'll have a white background. Otherwise, as it is at the moment, the background is transparent. For a fantastic sublimation effect, make the background transparent. And you can see that I've, there's only those two layers there now. I removed all the other ones, including the white one, but you can leave them there, of course, because when you export the image, 
it only exports what you've got selected. And there it is, transparent background on the colour that I'm using for this slide. Thanks for watching. I hope you've gained some ideas and insights for creating your own work in Affinity Photo. Remember, subscribe please, I really appreciate it.